Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play EU4, Great Khan Mongolia. And just a quick thing I wanted to show off, when you build a cathedral and you get that 3% missionary strength, yeah, you can convert stuff pretty quickly, even without anything that boosts your ideas. So that's just something I wanted to show off. Um, I missed that um, my sword was actually 1810 on the truce, so I just went ahead and declared now. Uh, on good old Funj. They make for a pretty good whipping boy, I would say. I am annexing Yemen because they're not going to convert anything of significance for me. And so I can just sell Naj this province and let them convert it. Naj has been doing a pretty good job on converting provinces. But um, there's, there's still a couple that I'm working on. Namely Kiev and Constantinople, which with the dynamic province naming is... <laughs> no longer Constantinople or Istanbul. We have ruined the world, viewers. <laughs> and we have done it many times. I'm sure a lot of these names have been... Well, no, actually, this stuff all looks pretty much the same. So I guess it just depends on what the, the Horde feels like doing. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. Oh, I'm losing sieges to Brunei. Yeah, so the reason I have been skipping forward a little bit in years is there's not a lot to going on here. I mean, we are really ripping what's left of India to shreds, but that's really not that impressive at this point. And I just don't want to... I, I guess I could, but I don't feel like marching a good portion of units up here to take on, like, you know, a Denmark with just Hungary or Bohemia and juggle that. I... Mm. I don't know. I think I'll just beat on Japan later and call it quits. They're the only ones who have a truce with me any longer. Now, interestingly, if I can get Myosaur to rejoin the coalition, then we can have some funsies with uh, Redeclare. Let's have a look at what kind of peace deals we are staring down. Yeah, we still have some work to do to get our war score up here. But we ooh, that'll put me over extension, yeesh. Oh, that's a lot by itself, that's what it is. Well that'll put me over too, but that's pretty solid. It'll chunk me to ninety some percent over extension, so Yeah. That's a fair amount of overextension. Unfortunately, there's just not enough enemies to kill, for the most part. That, that turns out to be a significant bottleneck, unfortunately. <laughs> and after doing the math, if I get a cathedral built here, and I'm working on it, I'm one building away, I can actually self-convert Constantinople. The only problem is it's going to take a long time, so I'm tempted to just sell it to Najd. And just because of that... Um, Kiev, I think I can convert in a reasonable time. Maybe if I stacked up some military buildings, too? It's tempting to try and convert it, because it would be pretty impressive to convert it myself. And of course, there's always the, uh, there's always one abuse called Cleansing Heresy, where you just force them to switch religions automatically. That's a good, uh, technique as well, of course. Seriously, though. These wars, man. Yeah, I'm getting... I have very little negatives from being sieged out, but they're... The ticking always takes a while. Oh, France entered an alliance with Orissa. I'll just declare on not Orissa. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I occupied what I believe is the only remaining province that the Ottomans possess. They got rolled by Bulgaria up here. And actually, they, their cores would eventually expire, which is amusing, although not with uh, Turkish. They'll have those cores forever. But it's amusing to see confusion in the gates of uh, the Ottomans' capital. Hi, France. Oh, man, we're going to share a border, are we, France? I could just abandon Constantinople and stand on the other side, as I once did to the Ottomans. It wouldn't go any better for France than it did for the Autoderps, I assure you. Eh, we're getting close enough in war score here. 
couple more occupations, a couple more province flips to the wrong religion, and we are good. Rebels seem to have calmed down a bit, but they're about to pick up again. Because once again, we are sieging it all out, and about to take upon a bunch of overextension. I was sieging that? No, no, they were sieging me. Oh, that's right, because I, like, auto-integrated that or whatever. Or auto-annexed it. Man, can we stop killing off my military leaders? I know I have a lot of them, though. Just keep rolling good generals. Well, I mean, I've been at constant war, so my army tradition is really good, despite not a whole lot that's boosting it. Which is why I think Innovative is a bit overrated as an idea group, especially in single-player. Yeah, I mean, maybe you can make a case for it elsewhere, but in single player, no way. Alright, that should be good enough. Can we get the war done here? Oh, come on, I have the same war score as what I'm demanding. And you're getting wrecked. Oh, here. Do me a favor. That should be good enough now. No! You silly goose. No, but seriously, what the heck? <laughs> well, I guess I'll just finish sieging out another province. This is not really a situation where the AI should be refusing. Refuses to talk! Ha ha ha! Now that's a classic reference right there. Holy cow! <laughs> You would have had to been watching my channel a long time to get that one. Well, or just be a fan of Sif 4. That would do it too. But yeah, I, I was always not a fan of Refuses to Talk. But it was possible to duck Refuses to Talk, to talk um, if you took literally no casualties. Like, as in you nuked them to high heck. And then you took a city. Yeah, they'd be they'd, they'd think about talking all of a sudden as it happens. I can actually rival somebody. I can rival Japan. I have a feeling like if I do that, they're just gonna join the coalition on me again, and that's inconvenient. Besides, will I run out of this? Yeah, I'll run out of it, but... I don't think in a meaningful time frame. The other thing is... This province is going to change hands one more time, I think. Although I could convert it myself, really. Oh yeah, that's not even a hard one to convert. Is there anything hard to convert left aside from Constantinople? No, there's just a lot. Well, Kiev, but I'm about to bring that down in a hurry. I don't think your buildings transfer. You know what? They'll still convert it faster than me. And I want to get more unity. I want to spread more Confucianism to the world. And there's one way to accomplish it. Take the capital. Ooh, we got a Holy War CB on the Great Britain. Anything else in this group I care about? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no? No, there's, there's actually nothing I care about. Well, that's nice. Ooh, I can fabricate new claims. I don't care, Great Britain. I'll declare on your sorry butt, too. Oh wait, can Japan join a coalition on me? No, so I can rival them. What am I thinking about? Yeah, see... The interesting thing here is... I actually have enough better relations over time... <laughs> from running capped prestige for so long... That I was able to get something out of that. I'm also really... I'm closing in on the next tier of admin efficiency. So we might see some plays... In the last little bit here. That's what I'm hoping. Yes! <laughs> huh. 
Myosaurs entered a military coalition. You fools. <laughs> but collisions are meant to slow down the player. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, that, that's not what actually happens, though. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> it's not a dynamic mechanic at all. Alright, so... We'll just keep spamming claims, I guess. Ah, uh, see? There's a problem here, though. I might not bother taking mainland Japan. I might. If I can get that 50 stack over there and get it across the straight, all bets are off. But... Viewers, I have a feeling like I need to own all of India. And you know what that means. <sighs> and there's, there's a couple European powers that are going to grief me if I try it. You can convert this, right, Najd? And actually... I'm going to stand these guys on Constantinople, so I don't have to watch it or worry about rebels causing problems there. I doubt this is accepted. Oh no, it is accepted. Ooh, a free conversion. Although, I, that, that's just a Buddhist province, unfortunately. Go ahead and convert Judea. I got a tax revolt? What? Fine. That's alright though, we've got something ready for France. You're training some boom. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time. No, oh, I didn't even build this. I'll build it. Don't be silly. See? It's easy. Only 25% neighbor bonus. How is it factoring the 25% neighbor bonus? Oh, it's just doing it off of, like, literal neighbors. <laughs> like, Europe. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> Never mind. Guys, I got this. Lost Holy War in Great Britain. Ah, you... <sighs> you suck, Great Britain. <laughs> That's alright. I'll get another Holy War chance on them. No, I don't really feel like giving you access. Screw you. Civil War. That's, like, more convenient to them than me. Portugal owns Maldives. Oh, I guess Master of India would be a bit of a pain, because I can't actually get a CV on them, I don't think. No, their trade power is too low, isn't it? God, they have, like, none. Yeah, they, they've literally just the trade power from the province. So that's not gonna happen. Okay, I got a CB on a Mednagar. I can probably fabricate a few more claims before it's time. Stop killing my generals! Yeah, the fire thing's gonna be inconsistent, but the shock is gonna be pretty consistent, because I have the plus one leader shock. Uh, from my NIs and another one from aristocratic ideas. You can really gouge shock if you're like a horde or anyone else who gets a shock bonus and you take aristocratic and offensive. You just get so much shock. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can still ally you as long as I could like them enough. That's just sad. And abusable, for that matter. There's ways to set some funsies up there, I, I bet. We're almost to Tech 30. Yeah, I think I'll be able to eke my way into Tech 32. So not a bad showing overall. Alright, do I have any overextension? Yeah, that's not much, but I'll let it finish because it's almost done. Oh. Oh, 
would be so nice to be able to take this. But I would again get run myself afoul of... Uh, well, we'll see how the war is progressing. I know you can do it. We will have a Confucian Constantinople. <laughs> we will unify Confucian. Ooh, it's all accepted culture to them. Not surprisingly, because their base culture and their primary is awful. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot you exist too. Oh. Largely a bunch of junk, aside from the cannons, because it's an annex to Vassal. It's unfortunate, but that's how it goes. I guess just go bolster that. I have a ton of dated infantry. I do have a large number of pretty... Oh, shoot. I think I lost my chance to build... Um, it should be... No, oh, no, it is still impulse infantry. Oh, it's because I'm not tech... No, I'm tech 30. And they're tech 30. So I guess you just keep the ability to build impulse infantry forever. Unless they just haven't upgraded it yet. No, they might not have upgraded it yet. We'll see. I, I was under the impression that you build the cavalry at the final tier. And I was interested in doing a little bit of cav spam, certainly. Now, we'll just go like this. Okay, so do I have no overextension? Yeah, good. Well, recently rejoined coalition member. Thank you for foolishly suiciding. Oh, I for I needed to. Mm. I needed to take something from Funged. Is this? Wait, what? Oh, that's right. They won't join. I'll stand on them. No, you're, there's not much to you guys, but you can uh, go do that. Once again, I would rather fight the rebels with my general than my actual opposition. You could make a case that this... The rebels are my actual opposition at this stage of the game. Wait, what? What?! Arissa, <laughs> they left the coalition? Oh, you became a protectorate of France! Ah! <laughs> I will have you! But okay, I, I, apparently they're out of the coalition, so we'll just go for Golconda for the moment. <sighs> There's much to love and hate about the Protectorates. Wow, that's like instant. Oh, they have Civil War and like no stab. Yeah. Yeah, France. Screw you. In fact, I think it's time to start spamming the claims. Do I dare? Do I dare try to do a superiority war on France and just take gobs of stuff? Oh, it would be so delicious. Well, that didn't take long. I guess it's not surprising. They're getting just wrecked by their civil war. Now, I think once the battle's engaged, you can cancel. Yeah. Every second is precious when it comes to converting these provinces. Now my unity is climbing. Akka took war lead? How the heck? I find that a bit annoying. How dare you? Hmm. 
mercantilism at this stage. Now give me fort defense. <laughs> the annoyance factor is slightly reduced with fort defense. So <laughs> that's my choice. Give me Coptic because it is Fort Defense. <laughs> yeah, I could do like one war with France. Oh, isn't there some kind of trick where you declare war on France and then declare war on Orissa and it creates a coalition war that you can separate peace? Isn't there something along those lines? I seem to remember something along those lines. Oh. Yeah, I don't let them rebuild too much. <laughs> we have been discovered fabricating a claim on someone we currently fight. Oh. There we go. That's why I can't convert that. Where are you? How long until that goes away? Oh, like literally by the time I convert my next... Oh, so the Ottomans still had something up here. Nice, right in the middle of Croatia. <laughs> I can't help it. It gives me something good. Now, what do I take as a final idea set? Because I don't think I'm getting to admin 29. <laughs> I don't think it's happening. I'm already military tech 31, huh? Well then. Let's go into offensive ideas and grab that last shock bonus. I'm not probably not going to be able to complete offensive ideas. But I should be able to roll some shock six generals and cause all kinds of shenanigans all the same. Oh, and by the way, get rid of that. I'll probably want to annex Naj at some point. Well, I'll let them finish with Constantinople first. Well, that's shaped up to be uh, pretty straightforward. Can Akka even reach me? Yeah, they can. You know what? I think it's worth my time to go beat on them because it'll give me some more score. Just run through the rebels. It's fine. It probably helps that they're like my tech and my units are not. Oh, I need to get through somehow. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> Guys, I got this. Yeah, there's no way I could. Man. <laughs> the yet years of income. It's kind of brutal when you have lots of income. Oh yeah. I forgot about Oman, but uh, I wouldn't mind removing that little province, although they'll keep Socotra. I'll make them an African nation. That seems like an interesting thing to do. Oh, the other thing is if I can full annex Akka within three years. Oh, they'll probably straight block me though, so this is not going to work. I guess I can try it though.
is if I can get a full annexation going on them, I can, uh, oh, but they're coalition leaders, so I wouldn't get anything else. But I could do a full annex release and definitely shore up this part of my empire. With the level of administrative efficiency I have now, I might be able to make that a reality. I guess Pegu can unseize their own province at the end. <laughs> I guess I was feeling charitable. No, the impulse infantry are pretty precious now, so... I'm gonna be careful with them. And not merge my stacks, as I have no need to do so with millions of manpower. You guys done goofed. Joining a coalition against me. It's nonsense. One more. Am I going to get straight blocked or am I going to be able to... Oh my gosh, I, ha I hate pause spamming like this, but... Am I going to get across? One shotted. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And a fifth for the current province. Never forget that current province. It's probably overdoing it a little bit because these are variant fort levels. But it, we have enough troops, to say the least. Done and done. Now, if I can finish one friggin' siege to see if I can full annex Akka, that'd be nice. Otherwise... No such luck. Get out of here, Shan. Regardless, I'm gonna be able to take a lot more than before. And I need to save up some admin points to core it anyway. Not sure I'd be able to annex them before the end of the game, regardless if I vassal them. So many rebels. <laughs> See, when people say that rebels are not hard, they're just tedious. This is what they're referring to, really. Like, this is in no way, shape, or form, like, fun, mentally challenging, difficult to manage in any way. You just get lots of rebels. <laughs> Could you imagine if you didn't disable pop-ups? <laughs> or if I didn't? <laughs> but I did, thankfully. Yeah, there's just no time, man. I have to get that war with France started very soon. That's gonna have to be the next part, I think, though, because this has gone on for a while. There's some claims down. <laughs> Agent discovered. Okay, we got one. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I can one-shot Ayutthaya, or I could probably take everything I've occupied in India without exception. Which does make for nicer borders. So we'll do that, especially since it expedites things a little bit. Hopefully you will join the coalition, Madurai. <laughs> ah, so much stuff. I was not expecting to get to level 2 admin efficiency as a horde. Man, I can even almost core it all instantly. There it is. I don't think I'll hit 29, but I don't think it matters. Yes, there it is. Madra entered the collision. 
But the problem here is not that. The problem here is France. Oh. And you. <laughs> I think they're next. I think I do England next, sit on that war goal, and just ignore... Maybe even pull my forces away. Although the Hansa... Well, who else is England allied to? <laughs> You're on. Oh, Denmark ally me too? Oh my gosh, this is stupid. I could literally ally them and they can't rival me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I don't think that that's going to be a very useful ally. Really? Are you giving access to France? No. How the heck is France there? Oh man, I'm a bit leery about this. But, at least we have a fresh stack of cannon. And as we all know, with cannons you can... We need to grab Korea too. Okay, so the goal with France is to take a whole bunch of distant overseas stuff. Who's still in the coalition against me? It's dwindling a bit. I want to grab Madurai. And then beat on France for its coalition members. It's of the utmost importance. Stop. There's so much. In fact, you can support. Can't even attach a guy. Ah! <laughs> They're everywhere. You have a prestige hit event, because you would almost never take the stab hit unless you have, like, no stab. If you're at negative three, you might take that. Or like you have another event pop up giving you a stability and you're at three, so you just take that stat bit and then immediately boost it back. I guess. Oh yeah, that's right, I said I can convert that easily. Oh, I guess it was true. And let's make you a bit easier to convert. Ah, nice. Very nice. So now we have but one thing left to do, and that's annex them. Najd has done their job as usual. They will even convert Roma for you, and, and with this... As long as you're not pagan, they can. They can do so. Oh, that's right. How many years ahead am I? Eleven. Time for some easy shock gouging. My next general that dies, I'm hiring a six shocker. We're gonna put France down. And we're gonna be mean about it. Okay. In fact, I think it's time to gather... Impulse infantry galore. In fact, I have a hundred here, which is pretty good. Yeah, the this will be one front, and this will be my other front. Do I have impulse infantry? Um, no, I've dated stuff here, but France won't be able to put as much up here, most likely. So I want to gather gather the troops in preparation for an ultimate smackdown because I'm not going to make it in India most likely but if I am there's only one way and so we will set it we will set the tables for France and you know what Oh, I can't get a claim on Ceylon, but we will take Ceylon if we can do so. 
I'm not gonna need you, so have a run down here so we can siege that. I don't think the French will press me in India. I have a feeling they'll go elsewhere. Oh, I'm using like dated stuff here. Limited cannon. <laughs> yeah, you know, just casually lose 100,000 troops and not worry about it. <laughs> I actually, um, could I? If I had more money, I could construct the Suez. As a horde. <laughs> oh man, the stuff, the stuff you can do is Mongolia. Oh, Japan rivaled me. That's cute. When is my truce with them up? Oh, I forgot to uh, get rid of Oman. That's alright, I have one more coalition war in me. And it's a good thing that Madurai joined it, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> have some revels. And they siege fast. This is why I think that fort defense is a little underrated for this kind of junk, because they will just roll you. Am I annexing you? Yeah, I am. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of made them high tax, didn't I? That's okay. They'll be done by the end of the game, and that's what matters. Who's still at 92? Kiev is still at 92, even now? Oh, it's not done with the cathedral yet. It's because I got a stab boost. Alright, viewers. We have one more to go. And as requested, we're going to war France. We're also going to attempt simultaneous wars against our coalition. And... Japan. We're going to go for a three-way. Right at the end. What do you think? Sound fun? I think it sounds fun. Let's hope that the glory of the map gods can help us out one last time. We're going to have a little bit in Southeast Asia. Well, maybe I'll YOLO Dow them too. We'll see. Until then, viewers, me and team, signing off.